it's bad enough that I've gotten one cliffhanger for today. Now, <laughs> in this one, you just gotta be kidding me, man. I mean, things were just getting pretty wild, and now things are just breaking apart, you know? And that's what makes this episode kind of interesting and impressive for me. But, yeah, if you guys... I'm doing a new ep review on a new episode of Hitsuki no Chaka Avenging, Bat Avenging Battles, you know? And I... I and just by looking at it, I mean, I really look. Um, this episode was pretty cool, you know. It's too bad it was a little like um, basic or simple, you know, just for like a certain simple or basic, you know, for the for our characters themselves, you know. So if anything else, I right, I'll just get started right away. Okay, okay, like um, we have like um, Chika, Toru, Akari, Freddy come going to the ocean, you know, and. Akari and Chika end up splashing water on Toru just to have fun, you know. And so far, like, um, many people are in line to, like, impress one of the heroes that uses a spear. Which, I've forgotten his cursed name. I must, I apologize. And later on, like, um, they end up summoning, they end up making some crazy stupid stuff up and manage to enter the household, you know. And so, well, Clay Morgan's household. And so far, like, um... They managed to make him laugh by making some weird comedic comedic argument, you know. And the guy ends up being scared after figuring out the guy that after some they are like they think that Chika the Chika is like um some ghost whatsoever. And so far, Chika decides to go tries to go to town, try decides to go to town by him by herself and tries to find out information about some kind of like um um how am I supposed to say um. About the Fortune Island, you know, of her father, Emperor Gaz. As for a fight with Toru and Akari, they took down the man and they go, We just want the remains, nothing more, okay? That's about it. And they take the, re they managed, they take the remain, as usual, like, um, they take the remains, as for Chika, she ends up trying to get, get some information. And we have, like, some of the guy named Shin, who actually trained Akari and Toru. And, there's this weird old guy about like, getting the remains or something too, and I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Like, everything is already starting to have like so many questions that I don't even know of right now. And so far, like, um, this other guy, he looks, and this other guy that shows up, he looks really familiar. I think like, um, I think he's a cavalier of the lost honor, but looking at his appearance, he might be the guy that was pre previously told dead. I think that's Gillette, I believe. Let me see here. I don't really know, but all I know is, is like, um, he looks really familiar to Gillette that he was told to be dead. But looks like he hasn't died. And so far, like, um, Toru and Chaka got into a, a verbal argument about like, finding the remains or something, and after this and that. And she ends up telling Toru, oh, you can't understand my feelings, what can you say, huh? And and Toru goes like, so are you going to fire us then? Is that it? And she go, and after that, he left with Akari, and Chaka says, hey, um, can you do me one last favor? And therefore, like, um, so far, like, um, they decide to, like, um, Akari decides to talk to Annie, uh, to Toru about, like, you know, when it comes to things about, like, when it comes to certain important things and you want to find out yourself, I'm pretty sure you would have done the same thing. Like, if you're lured or some kind of weaponry or armory are there, I would have gone there to the end of the world to find it, you know? To find out myself. And, therefore, Toru decides to go talk to Chaka, but it doesn't work out very well. And, well, he before they were about to talk to him, talk to her, she flew off with Freddy Cut to go to the island. And he decided to use Clay Morgan's trading boat. And... Chika ends up trying to find the island, and you know the red Chika and her companions is really damn annoying. They they got to the ship and they're about to fight, and I go like, yeah, just kick their asses. But they get attacked by a kraken while Fredica and Chika gets attacked by those dragoons and so forth. And it ends with Chika falling, and I did see the episode preview, and it seems to be a little like a promising here and there. But dude, I really hate cliffhangers, dude. That's my second cliffhanger. My first one had to be Parasite, and this is had to be my second one. Dude, <laughs> like, 
you know, like, I had a chemistry exam, and you just had to get me this hyped up and tense about it, you know? So many questions come to mind right now. That guy that showed up, like, with Sheen, the guy who trained Toru Nakari, like, with some weird old man, and that guy in the blondie hair, you know? That looks like the guy that, that looks like Gillette, that looks like he's dead, but he's probably alive. I don't know. But all I know is, is like, um, things are getting interesting, and I'm actually looking to the next episode. Still a lot of questions in mind about the Emperor, about Emperor Gaz's, Emperor Gaz's fortune, you know. I don't know how important it is. I don't, I don't know what it has, but it seems to be, it could hold either great personal value or probably value, rich award. I don't know. But all I know is it's important to Chaika and it's important to, um, to the other Chaikas too. So, yeah. I don't know what to expect, you know. I mean, like, um, this is already the third episode. And after like next week and the up and after like after that we have like that it, we're gonna reach halfway soon. It's pretty interesting to see to it like it's going by pretty quick, man. I'm not playing. So I gotta say, um, I love I love this episode. You know, a lot of questions and mysteries and that crazy cliffhanger. I I just hate it, man. I, I really do just hate it. But all I know is like I don't know what to expect. But just look at the preview. It had to show a little bit of what to what to foreshadow. You know, I mean. It's pretty obvious, but I'm actually looking forward to it. If anything else, this should be the end of my review right here. Um, have a good day, and I'll see you on my next video tomorrow. But starting tomorrow, like um, I'm gonna have many videos coming out late. I think I could. Tr I'll try to get at least one before like um, nine o'clock or eight thirty, because after that I have to hit hit a doctor's appointment or something. So if anything else, that'll be about it, people. Peace out. Bye bye.